So today we're going to take a look at an anti-Israel, pro-Palestinian wiper that disguised itself as a ransomware called Israbi. It was discovered um, towards the end of the July. Some other researchers picked it up and started looking at it into August, and um, I just had a chance to look at it today. It's not the most advanced malware in the world, but um, it had some interesting things in here. So basically it's a C-sharp executable, so it's really easy to analyze and take a look at. And um, we have it actually opened here. And let me get in there. There's another component. So basically what it does is it goes through all the drives and replaces the contents of every file with this string. Okay, basically, um, uh, Israel, you will never recover your files until Israel disappears. And... Um, it then, once that's done, it then launches, it extracts from the executable four resources, which are four different executables, and it executes those. Um, for the sake of this video, I got rid of the the full drive wiping and just made it so it goes after one folder, otherwise we'd be here forever. Um, but uh, each of these processes actually perform a different function. Uh, the cry.exe will change the background. The cursor.exe will add this little end of Israel um, image that follows your cursor around. The uh, lock screen um, or the lock executable, um, it will monitor for various processes and terminate them when they see them. Um, so we're talking about process hacker, uh, process explorer, and task manager. Um, finally, the index.exe will launch the lock screen and play a embedded wave file that I'm not really sure what it is. I'm assuming it's anti-Israel or pro-Palestinian. I'm not really sure. So to take a better look at what this thing does, we're going to execute it and go from there. So here it is right here. Oh, and here's a test folder just filled with, you know, various test documents. So we're going to run this. And this is the cursor that goes hangs out on, you know, with the cursor. Here's the image that hangs out with your cursor. Here's the lock screen. It changes the, uh, let's do this. It changes the background to this um, uh, anti-Israel kind of wallpaper. And then it has this lock screen here. And we're about to hear some some interesting music. I'm not really sure what it is or what it's from but it's being launched and played by the wiper. But this is essentially what it does. And if we now, if we go into that test folder, you can see that each folder here says, um, I'll let listen to the music for a little bit. So I'm going to turn that music off so you don't need to hear it. So uh, basically they're saying that, you know, you can't get your files. They're gone forever, which is actually true because it is a wiper. They're saying um, you're not going to get them back until Israel's gone. Obviously that's not happening and it doesn't matter. You're not getting your files back. Basically what happens here is it pretends it's encrypting them. It shows that typical ransomware extension. But if you actually look at these files... All it says is that. It just replaces it with that text we saw before. So, um, as you can see, not a ransomware, purely a wiper, purely meant to go uh, after um, Israeli victims based upon the Hebrew down here and the, the sentiment of the uh, ransom note or the lock screen note or the wiper note, whatever the hell you want to call it. And um, that's it. All right, hope you enjoyed the video.